Good afternoon. This week I've been working with my children on reading dialogue and being able to take a poem and pass it out, parcel it out. So you find the dialogue, you find the narrative, you find vocabulary words that you don't know the meaning of. You look for uh, which pronouns belong to which characters and, um, and, and basically find the story. So all poems are either stories or monologues or conversations or something or the other like that. But what you need to do when you're, when you're telling poetry is to find the story, find the message, find what the poet intended for you to do. So reading poetry aloud is great fun and it should always be read aloud. Uh, so this week I chose some poems by someone called Prarthana Gururaj. And she has a site which has the most amazing poems for children. She has such a good sense of rhyme and rhythm and wonderful, wonderful poetry writing. So the poem we did with the little ones today was Whiny, Stop Whining! Now, the, the title is in inverted commas. Now, because it's in inverted commas, it's part of dialogue. Normally, you would just announce the title of a poem, right? You would say, the road not taken, or whatever. But when you have a poem that's, that has a title that's a dialogue, then you've got to deliver it, right? You've got to deliver it as the character who is supposed to be speaking those lines would have said it. So one of the characters is Tuffy and the other one is Whiny the Walrus. So this is Tuffy speaking. Hey, Whiny, stop whining! By Prathna Gururaj. Whiny the Walrus sat on the shore. He closed his eyes and he began to snore. Wake up! said Tuffy, leader of the pack. There's work to do, no time to slack. It's time to go get some food. Watch the pups. Don't let them feud. All the parents swam out to sea, leaving Whiny to guard the kid jamboree. Do you know what a jamboree is? It's like a fun fair, like a fet. Why me? Why me? Why me? Whined. He whined. Then he started to doze as they sang and rhymed. As he snored, they played away, swimming into the sea from their little bay. Oh, what do you think would happen now? Do you think it's safe for children to to leave their safety and go out into the into the street or into the sea? It isn't, is it? And what sort of babysitter is he? What would your parents have said to your nanny if she fell asleep and all of you wandered out of the house and walked down to the to the pavement or something? Jeez, let's see what happens. Just as Tuffy was swimming back, he saw the shark swimming for his pack. Now imagine the children are all going, na 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 na, we are swimming, yeah 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 yeah. And there, sharks coming, wow 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 wow. What do you think the shark's going to do? Well, Tuffy knew. He saw the shark swimming for his pack. He must have swam as fast as he could. Whoa, 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 whoa. And we also punched the shark and made the shark run away. He gathered them up and saved the day. The pups were safe. Back in the bay. Now, what do you think Tuffy and all the parents would have said to Whiny? I think they would have fed him to the shark. What do you think they would have done? Certainly, they would have screamed at him, don't you think? Well, let's see how we deliver what Tuffy said. Whiny! 
yelled Tuffy. You've gone too far! Not doing your job? Oh, that's just bizarre! Constant whining! <laughs> it's a poor excuse! So stop whining and be of use! There's no room for whiners in a team. When you're happy, working is a dream. Do you think, do you think, um, do you think Tuffy would have done it like that? Do you think Tuffy would have um, yelled like that? Or do you think Tuffy would have been more polite? Well, if I was Tuffy, I would have yelled like that. I would have been like, Wah! like I, would, I mean, he almost got all the children eaten. I mean, think of that. So I don't think Tuffy would have said, Whiny, you've gone too far. Not doing your job? That's very bizarre. Constant whining is a poor excuse. So stop whining and be of use. Do you really think he would have said it like that? I don't think so. I think he would have been fuming and sputtering and spluttering all over. That's probably what he would have done. That's what I would have done, right? He's not going to phrase his words and speak politely and stuff. He's just saved all the kids, all the pups, the, the walrus pups, from the shark. Jeez. And then what did he tell Whiny? There's no room for whiners in a team. When you're happy, working is a dream. Whiny was quiet as everyone stared. I mean, everyone must have been really bugged with him, don't you think? No more whining, he declared. So today we had, we, yesterday we had a bit of a discussion about who this he would be. Now, the rules of grammar say that if there's a pronoun like he, she, they, them, me, you, us, then that pronoun belongs to the name, the character whose name is just before it. So in this case, it says whiny was very quiet, as everyone said. So I think the he declared was whiny declaring, don't you think? I don't think it was Tuffy declaring that, because then they should have said, no more whining, Tuffy declared, right? Because they've, earlier they've said whiny was quiet. Well, we, we're going to have to ask Prathna, because we had a bit of a a disagreement there. Some children said, no, 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 that's got to be Tuffy. I said, no, 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 I think it's got to be Whiny. And we, we decided to, we agreed to disagree. So if you have any ideas, let me know what you think. All right? Okay, wonderful. Did you like that poem? I thought it was a great poem. Prathna, Guru Raj, well done. Thanks for sharing. Uh, do, yeah, yeah, do, do, do follow and like and whatever else. Thank you so much.